the sets, sets of software basic parameters and the time schedules in the, and the cluster extended will be the main topic for today. So before I start the training, I will give the brief to everyone about our Envis. So Envis at a glance, so we do have the 15 years experience to more than 200 patents. Now we, re we release the cloud solutions. We do service more than 100 countries. Our core algorithm is the BioNano. We do servicing about 200,000 projects. We also do the video intelligence analysis. And also we do have an MS safety control protocol. So here's our MS product line. So we do have access control and time attendance solutions. And also we do have the intelligence surveillance product and solution. So here's our MS core technology, which is the Boeing Nano. And also we do provide data privacy and security. So here's our success story. So let's get into the topic for now. So here's our contents for today. The first will be about basic setting the cross extended. The second will be the create, create time, time schedule and the shift settings. Let's get in the, to the first topic. So the first going to run a software in the cross extended. And then you need to go to database setting, click, uh, click on database setting to choose the database type. So you can also refer to the training course 2.1 to set your database. So as, as you can see right now, I'm choosing the access for my database settings. And then the second will be about basic parameters. So on the left, it's a cu custom field, which is used for adding additional user information fields, such as age, citizens, ID, emergency, contacts, etc. This parameter on the right is defined as the communication delay time between the software and also device. Once you finish settings, don't forget to apply that because otherwise the setting won't be saved. So I've seen someone raise the hand. So let me finish this page. And so let's see. So what's the question you have for now? The third will be the configured automatic download time for your report. So I've seen someone has just raised a hand, right? So let me know what's your concern. You can leave the question on the chat, chat box. So let me know so I can help you to solve your concern. Hello, Mohammed. So do you have a question now or just let me to continue for now? So 
seems uh, I could continue at the moment. So let's get in the next page. So the next will be attendance parameter setup. The first click goes to attendance menu, which as you can see the red box, right? So on the top left corner, please pay attention for this part. So this is the optional if anyone has the midnight shift. And then on the right, you can mark the mark those options to detect the employee's working time, or you can increase the uh, employee working time for late arrival or the early departure. And on the below, you can see at set the status symbol in in the attendance report. You would like to over over overview of all the all the, all the user attendance performance. Which is you can change your time units at here. You can see, so you can set up the minimum as the 0.5. So we'll be counting as the starting as the 0.5 for your day. And then let's go to the overtime. So in the overtime menu, so in the red box, so this option is if you want to set a minimum duration that will be counted as the overtime. In the middle, it's modified overtime stage so that the, it will be late period will be paid multiply. In the bottom, so the number means the time that working hours will be counted. So the number two means it's one hour, one hour of the overtime will be calculated as two hours. So let's go to the department setting for now. So you can add as much a department based on the, uh, your, your company is. So you can put different name and also you can modify your current department or you can just add new department. Then let's go to status settings. So in the status settings, you can set up to 16 different status. Don't forget to give the status description here. So once you finish the status settings, select the device and up, upload the, the status to the selected terminal. So the next part will be about leave type. So you can set different leave class. For example, I ju we just set up for demo purpose, which is medical. You can set it as a green as your color or you can see the urgency or the vacation. It's all up to that means. The next part will be about work code. You can set work, a different work, work code at here. So this function is only suitable for the employees who have two or more than job, or more than two job titles in the companies. After setting these functions, the user can choose a row during the, the check-in or check-out. The next part will be the holiday list. Click on the holiday list to add a time period as your day off. The user shift will not be covered such those days. So let's get in the second topic. For today, the second will be create the time schedule and shift settings. So the first part, which is going to be about create a continuously uh, working period. Click on the shift settings 
and then go to go to its first one, which is timetable city, to add a working period. You can also create the periods at the end of the second days. So please pay attention at this part. The interval of the clocking or clock out period should not be overlapped. Here's some demo, I just made it. So you can make as much a timetable you want, set the timetable name and also the on duty time of duty time. Don't forget to put the begin clocking time and off, uh, the end clocking time. Check, uh, check it out also. Don't forget to put the begin clock out time and also end clock out time. So let's get in the shift settings. So for one shift, I can add as much as like four timetables in one shift. You can make it as a cycle. You can cycle the device as a weekly or monthly or daily. Here's some example here. If the employee works five days in the first uh, in the first week, the four days in the second week, and then the cycle repeats like that. Please choose number two in the cycles and the week in the cycle device. And then it's the user scheduling. So please, if you're using the normal scheduling, please select the shift and also select the time period. If you're using the intelligent scheduling, please select the, the timetable which you want to uh, add on this user. So you can consider it this way, the normal scheduling is based on the shift, intelligent scheduling is based on the timetable. So in some cases, the employee may be assigned an expected work, which will not be counted as overtime. So click on the add temporary to add a unplanned schedule, which is from here, the red box. You can select the timetable for this user. And also don't forget to select the date. So let's get some time for the question and also the concern time. And also anytime regarding to our device, you have any concern or the questions or you meet some problems with our device, please feel free to send us by the email or you can go to our official website, which is the MS.com. So here's the, I, I'm going to share my screens about our MS.com. So here's our official website. You can set trouble tickets if you meet any problems with your device or how to use device. You can also check out here and our technical person will reply you as soon as possible in a day. And if you want to prove your previous training course, please go to the training menu here. The website maybe it's under maintenance and now, so uh, I'm not able to open that. But anyway, so I can I can guarantee everyone. So if any time you want to review our previous training course, please go to our website and go to the training menu. Uh, so right now at the moment it's under maintenance. I believe it will be fixed in a, in an hour or the half minute, half the half hour. So if you have any concern or question at the moment, just let me know. 
So I will help you learn to solve the concern. I'm going to leave about five minutes for the question time for everyone. Yes, it's coming soon. So I believe the we do have our uh, road plan for our course about which is going to be about class solutions. So we are still making the PowerPoint for this part. So it's on the way. It's coming soon for our cloud Envis. So if you have any concern or the question about our cloud part, please feel free to send trouble tickets to us uh, through our website. Yeah, you can go ahead to use it no matter where you are so we do have the europe uh, europe uh, servers and also the us servers and also the asia servers now Yes, it will be the pretty same, but it's like it's more convenience for you, sir. Because you can, wherever you are, no matter which region you are, you can, as long as you have the internet, just feel free, you can just go in your account and check. So what's the status for everyone? You can check all the user status through the cloud solution. So regarding to this part, as I know right now, we only can you can only send a triple tick ticket to uh, to our uh, through our uh, auto, which is the website, and so our technical person will may contact you, and we'll see. Thank you so much, I appreciate. And once again, so today's training is almost done. Thank you everyone's time. Thank you for everyone's atten attendance the training here. And I appreciate everyone's, everyone's time. So thanks so much. Uh, have a great day, everyone. Thanks so much. I'm going to end, end training course very soon. Thanks so much again.